Çanakkale Gallipoli campaign organized by the Consulates General of Turkey, Australia, and New Zealand, and hosted by SUNY Maritime College. I would also like to take... Thank you for rising for the presentation of the colors. And at this time, I would like to ask... This is not just ordinary soil. This is the legendary Gallipoli Peninsula. Just standing here will give you goosebumps. Our turkey said it best. You, the mothers who have sent your sons from faraway countries, wipe away your tears. Gallipoli battles also constitutes a significant point in the history of nationhood of the Turkish people, as well as in the history of many nations which fought there. Çanakkale land battles offers a unique example to work as an illustration of ties of friendship which are born out of confidence. For the under-resourced and poorly conducted campaign... Trying to break the stalemate, Winston Churchill, then fourth first lord of the Admiralty, or sea lord, uh, came up with what seems like a reasonable idea This land, they have become our sons as well. Battle, uh, or our campaign, what it, what it was, and then I'll talk about the current state of the history, the historiography, what working has lost this particular campaign. The Turkish side, it's, it's a multinational event as well. Few Germans, but in important command positions. Uh, I'm not going to really belabor the, the defense, but, but they, they, they do hit in this campaign the 9th Division. And, and within the matter of hours, Mustafa Kemal's famous 19th Infantry Division. In advance, I have to thank a lot for the all organizers on behalf of uh, myself and all presenters. With a telegram command coming from Berlin, they decided to go in front of Dardanelles. And that time, in early August 1914, the Dardanelles was closed with mines. Ottomans decided to open the strait. These two ships entered through the straits and then they sailed to Istanbul uh, in Eastern Front. Germans were also... First, can I uh, acknowledge the Consul Generals that are here, uh, other distinguished guests, uh, members of the... Uh, uh, you had an acronym for it, but I'll say it from it. And then it's our turn as the last two speakers, as the practitioners of uh, war, to talk a little bit about our national perspectives and also about uh, what the relationship that has grown out of the Gallipoli campaign with Australia, New Zealand and Turkey. So uh, IT facilities that tell you about uh, Turkey today. Stuart Wilson, Henry Stark, Edward Stevenson, William, Anzac, Gallipoli, Dardanelles, all of these resonated with a privileged position in military study and our national identity. The overwhelming Australian narrative of soldiers' accounts comes from the tactical perspective. Those who sent their sons from faraway countries, wipe away your tears. Your sons are now lying in our bosom and are in peace.